Hey guys, what's going on? I hope you guys are having an amazing Sunday because I have lined up some good gameplays for you guys in this video and this is going to be again you guys know an all-in table action and before I continue with this video I want to show you guys something that I do usually every day I started to do this on my Facebook page as you can see on your screen today I posted this math slash IQ puzzle and some weird comments and some people came up with different answer and some said it's a table of nine but the answer is very very simple if you can see the hint it says read 2 and 1 as 21 and 12 so if you subtract 12 from 21 you get the answer 9 so the answer was very very simple it's 94 minus 49 you get the picture the answer is very very easy which is 45 Now we're going to continue with the game and we see Colton here, level 118, having the Atlantis Q and a diamond account, blue diamond account, which is very, very nice, has 8 of Monaco rings. Let's see what he has to say. 1.2 million coins on the line and we are playing with the Galaxy Q. We have two Monaco rings. We are going for the third one. What a poor shot by Colton. I cannot believe this. And I don't know how he scratched, but he did. And you guys know what happens when I get a ball in hand. Easy, open table. Everything looks easy. Back spin to go for the black. Slow shot. No need to worry about anything. This time we have an advantage and we have a break so we have a very very excellent chance of giving him a denial and then he's gonna go broke does that blue pot into the top right pocket because that's the only place where we're gonna go and you see now we can use top spin to go for the last orange which is 11 and not the ideal position but again we're gonna be using the back spin and there you go easy position for the black so we made short work of Colton and now let's see who the next opponent is. This time we find Jordan and before you guys ask me what, what's going on, this is the gameplay recording from the three weeks of March and I think the first week of April, I'm not sure but this is the recording from the three weeks. And unfortunately Jordan did not do a good break and we have to open up some of the cluster that we are in and Jordan is playing very excellent shots the bang shots and now he's forced to I think go for I think he could have gone into the top uh, left pocket but he went for a safety and now we have a chance to open up that green So I was not ideal position and I just decided to play a safety shot and he managed to get out of safety and now I played a silly shot. I, I did use backspin but we caught the jaw and now look what happened. We're in a tough position. I wanted to put the green into the top left pocket but we got it into the bottom left which is insane amount of luck and we will be finishing it with the bank shot. That was crazy luck right there. I mean, I couldn't believe that I played such a bad shot. And then this is the problem. In all in tables, it's an open table just like Berlin. You can either fluke it into any pockets you like and it just becomes very, very easy. Jordan from Canada using the Galaxy Q. This time we are going for the solids. There's a bit of a cluster, but if we play carefully, we will be able to make sure that we open the table. Again, I was very, very lucky 
to miss the middle pocket for the black otherwise we would have scratched and lost the advantage just like that okay so now i'm indicating that i'm gonna put the red into the bottom left pocket and the green into the top right which is guaranteed but look what happens when i try to put the red into the bottom left pocket selected a little bit of left to spin i think that was the contributing factor into the red going into the top right pocket sorry top left pocket and we finished inch perfect for the black and we could have been snookered with the blue and now i decided to again play a bank shot and we finished the game feel sorry for jordan but jordan has a lot of monaco rings so he understands the concept of playing all in table next up we find level 153 and finally guys after a long time we were able to find a 40 million game now it's gonna be awesome and i was so excited that i even made the worst possible break and now he has an excellent chance to finish the game he's using the standard diamond queue i think or the millionaire queue i'm not sure but this queue gives you a very very less time and now he scratched it was a natural angle for the white ball to go into the bottom right pocket and now i try to open up that yellow and we succeeded the yellow is out and now we have an excellent chance to finish the game you see guys immediately when you get a ball in hand try to go for the difficult ball or a redirect to open that difficult ball we went for the bank shot because we needed the good position for the purple easy black to finish the game sometimes i play bank shots to get a good position for my next shot it's not necessary but it's a good skill that it helps you a lot let's find out we have the advantage and now let's see what our friend does pretty open table there you go easy black he finished the game just like that without any bank shots without anything very very simple okay so we managed to part a single stripe and solid but we are going for the solid We're gonna use a little bit of back side spin to go down the table and I messed up again and this time we are fully snookered and now we're gonna have to just close our eyes and hope that we pot the seven and look where the seven goes it just disturbs the 11 stripe and goes into the middle pocket and I was extremely lucky now this is the second time I got extremely lucky so I think the lady luck is on our side this time finally back to advantage and now let's see what he does manages to put three stripes and now i think he's going for the fourth stripe right there and look what happens my yellow clips it into the black and he pots the black and we get the easiest victory we find the sniper queue with the real money i think i got the sniper queue in my main account for like 750 pool cash but this time they went for the real money The next opponent we find is level 247 and what are the chances of me finding a back-to-back -back 40 million game it's i think it's the first time that i'm seeing that i got two games back to back with the 40 million opponent there's a bit of a cluster we're gonna have to open that seven right there which is attached to the cushion top spin nicely done to open up that seven top spin to go down for the blue and now we're gonna have to play a slow shot and I think we are lucky let's go for the bank shot because we are out of position easy bank shot again we'll go for the bank shot into the middle pocket we're gonna respect our opponent our opponent is level 247 and just when you thought this is the easy bank shot well here is a disaster 
we missed an easy bank shot. Congratulations, Marcin. You are an amazing player. And look at this. He's telling me watch and learn. Now, this is what I call a disrespect. I only use watch and learn when I'm playing against my friends for fun. But now he's just showing us that watch and learn. Look what he did right now. He just played a slow shot. He gave me a ball in hand. I'm not sure if that was an accident or what. But we're going to again play a bank shot to show him that we do have some skills and we don't miss when we get a second chance. Into the middle of the pocket, there you go, we have the advantage. By the way, his name in the Arabic says Haran, H A, or I think H A R A A N. That's how you pronounce his name. Definitely, he's an Arabic dude because his name is in Arabic. And we have an excellent chance. I mean, this is a disaster. Look at this. It's all over the cluster. I mean, what kind of break he did with the Archangel Q? I mean, come on. Show some respect to Archangel Q. At least do a good break, my friend. Five Monaco rings, 13. Nine bar rings. And I don't know what's, what's he doing. And look at this. I think he's playing carelessly or what. I'm not sure. Because he knows that the green is stuck with the black. So he has a chance. And I'm going to have to play, play some extraterrestrial difficult shot to go and open that green. So I decided to take a safety and block his orange. And now he's, I think he's trolling and he's forcing me to do some kind of a difficult shot. And now we are having a, a safety battle, what you call it. So he's getting rid of my solids one by one. And I am taking care of his orange. He has an excellent chance to use the nine ball and open up that orange, but he's scared that he might accidentally pocket the black ball. Okay, he managed to open up the black ball. So let's make sure that he doesn't use the nine ball to go into the black. Now he's trying to put me in a difficult spot. Okay, I didn't manage to attach the orange to the green but the black is our friend is blocking his pocket into the top right that's why you see now he removed the black and what he doesn't understand that is now my turn to make sure that the black is even close to the orange Now I, I need to make sure that I attach this orange to the green and this is where I messed up. And again he's laughing and just look what happened. He has a ball in hand, easily can pot the orange into the top pocket and I don't know what's he doing and he, he's not even putting the white ball properly. He did not even use top spin whatsoever and look where the orange ended. Now, what do you say? I mean, what do you say to this guy after playing such uh, disturbing, I, I, you can call it a disturbing, careless, bad shot or best shot ever, just like I said. I mean, I cannot believe what this guy did. You know, in terms of CSGO and Rocket League, we call these guys boosted. I mean, they're noobs, but they're boosted. I think he bought this account from somebody or he's not the real owner of this account because the level 247 playing these bad shots I don't believe it and we're gonna be ending up with our natural bank shot similar to Berlin style to add insult to injury definitely did not expect that coming I was expecting him to take the advantage and I don't know why he did that I don't know why he played this but regardless let's move to the next game this time we find level 132 and 14.6 million which means 7.3 million coins on the line for our friend here who's using the solar eclipse queue yeah i think it's a solar queue right there it's the standard queue and the only queue that i don't have it i didn't buy this queue and he got an excellent shot i mean his positional shots are not that good but somehow he is managing to play some yolo shots and get a good position on that last green 
and not a good position on the black but def definitely he will take it into the bottom right as you saw so weird advantage weird gameplay from this guy and this time again it's his break and he managed to get the break on the last second I mean he was about to run out of time and looks like he's gonna win it now I might be able to win because that blue over there on the left side of the table is and he just changed the queue from solar queue to that lightsaber queue right there the blue queue and he matched up on the green he did manage to open the purple but the green was missed and now we have an excellent chance guys remember he has an advantage 7.3 million coins on the line here and you guys know what happens when I get a ball in hand and definitely not a nice positional shot but somehow we managed to get in between and look in between the green and the black we have a nice position to put that last red and easy black to finish the game oh he would be so devastated that he missed up that easy green I don't know why he changed the queue I think the queue was out of charge and he had to change the lightsaber queue because he was out of coins he put all his coins on the line which is a very very bad idea especially if you're playing against me top spin to go down the cushion now let's play a back spin to disturb that yellow and orange nicely done ok we're gonna use back spin to hold the cue ball in the middle of the pocket right there this time you see guys the right side is the top side, the left side is the bottom side and we use the left spin because the next shot is the 11 which is down the cushion and look at the result of using the left spin. The cue ball goes to the left side which is the down side and perfectly positioned. So you see guys, if you use the side spin perfectly and if you learn that, you will get easy shots and easy positions for your game and then you will easily deny your opponents backspin to hold the cue ball again easily finished and bye bye our friend so we're gonna stop here guys I hope you enjoyed this video 81 hours to go and look at our league the top guys 2.5 million and last week we managed to get 184.80 million and easily easy 150 cash and again we are going to be getting 150 cash because the top dude only has 2 million 2.5 million in the winning and i want to explain to you something guys in emerald league it's from level 55 to 64 we are at level 61 right now so i'm expecting to get at least at least 600 more cash like win the league four times and then move to the ruby league and then at least get 700 cash because i will also be trying to win the ruby league uh, four times to get that 175 cash every time we win before we finish this video and say goodbye let's check our collection we we did start with buying the caesar queue and then we moved to the galaxy queue and i know a lot of you are asking me martian you have the galaxy queue and you have 500 uh, around 500 cash so why are you not opening the legendary queue well the answer to that question is very very simple as soon as we hit level 100 in this account we are gonna be celebrating with whatever cash we have I'm expecting to be having at least 1500 cash and as soon as we get those cash we will be opening the legendary queues and hopefully we'll be getting six or seven legendary queues for you guys for your entertainment so I hope you enjoyed this video guys leave a thumbs up if you did and I know you guys are awesome. I appreciate all the support I get from you guys. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Peace out.